brown chicken, brown cow. Thank you for watching the specialized finishes, tips and tricks video on how to. We're going to refinish this table. Please like and subscribe. Hello, this is Sean, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to take this old beat table and uh, refurbish it. We're not going to restore it. I'm not going to take it back to its original coatings. It's got tons of slime damage on it. You can just see it's got paint on it. And this is all craft paint, you know, like kids craft paint stuff. I'm going to show you how to uh, get it prepped and finish this to where it looks like it's brand new, pretty much. And we'll uh, even do stain repair, maybe some foam because the wood has been rubbed through over here. Uh, to start with, we use, what I do is just I'll wash it and I'll scrape it and wash it. I won't sand it first. You want to get as much garbage off of it as you can. It has years of grime like in the corners right here. We're going to wash it down first and then we'll, we'll sand it and see where we're at from there. So vinegar is really good, like distilled white vinegar. It uh, helps. I just dump a bunch, like just about half full. Just dump a bunch, as much as you can stand the smell. Doesn't matter. And I like to use a uh, dish soap, but nothing that has uh, polymers for like hand softening or anything like that. Because it will cause problems for your stain. But Dawn is pretty safe. I find that this, this uh, putty scraper works out, this flexible one and a half inch knife. You can control it and uh, make it do what it needs to do. So this is an old school cabinet scraper. Sometimes you can use it to scrape stuff off like that, like if you use the strippers and whatnot. But like I said, for this application, I think this one's gonna work best. I did the uh, my right side of the table, most of it yesterday to test out what needed to happen. And this worked out the best. So I'm gonna do the rest of this table and I'm gonna do a clip to speed it up. So this night, this blade's pretty good. I like to take the big stuff up, don't push too hard. And I'm pushing against, it, against itself. So I literally just like take glitter and just pop it right off. So using the knife at an angle when you're scraping is a great way to prevent from getting stop marks, straight lines from scraping straight across. Or if you scrape straight across like this, you're, the edges will tend to want to dig that way. So use it like a, I don't know how proper term, but if you use it. Green Scotch Bright. I prefer that if they're the kind you get from the hardware store, they're going to be a lot more rough than this one. This one's a home home use one, so it's pretty soft already. Soapy water. And you use it like sandpaper. It will uh, help take this paint off. And it actually sands it at the same time. And I'm just, so I'm pushing pretty good. sand using this foam block and 80 grit and we're not trying to remove the finish entirely we're just going to level this off and remove some of it <laughs>
use a regular wood bleach and wash it down thoroughly and allow it to dry. Sometimes you have to do it twice. Now that we've sanded and bleached it, if there's still a little bit of blotchy, it will be hidden when we stain and clear coat it. So now we're going to fix the delamination and glue it down and also fill some areas that are totally missing in the veneer. So here are the tools we're going to use and let's do it. So now we're going to force the glue in there with a putty knife or you can use your finger. And then once you get it all in there, you're going to clean it up with a damp rag around the edges. And then we got some dust we gathered from sanding once before and we're going to put that on the glued areas and place plastic on it and clamp it down and allow it to dry for several hours. So using this black natural bristle brush and this polyurethane, it's oil-based, we're going to give it a seal coat so we can do everything else, fix the colors and whatnot on top of that. Oil base tends to bring out the colors and the layers more than a water based clear coat. So, if you seal it with oil first, it'll make it look more alive. Now, we sand the urethane with the foam block and 220 grit sandpaper. I used wiping stain and put a thin coat over the entire surface and took a dry rag and just buffed out as much as I possibly could get off of there. Now we need to seal in the stain with another coat of urethane. So when we go to shade in the light spots with more stain, and if we get it too dark, we can clean it off and start over. Now we're gonna shade in some of the light areas. We call it glazing. So I take the same stain that we used before, I thin it about 20 or 30% and make it super thin. And I use this same black bristle brush and I barely get a little bit of stain on the tip of it. And then I just start lightly brushing and moving it around. Because we used urethane to seal it up, the stain will slowly move around across the top. We're going to allow the oil glaze to dry for two days because we're going to put a water-based acrylic finish on there that will stick, but we need to make sure it's dry. Now that the stain is dry, we're going to apply three coats of finish. The first coat will be a sealer coat and we'll sand it thoroughly with 180 grit. Then the second coat, after applied, we'll lightly sand it. So now we're going to apply the finished clear coat. I like to use this product, it's called Master's Armor from Old Masters, and it's water-based. You don't have to thin it, but I suggest that you use this blue bristle purdy brush. It's called the Extra Glide. The brush is key in order to not have brush marks after it dries. And I like to do the edge first because it's easy to fix if it gets messed up with the top is not going to be easy to fix if it partially dries and you're trying to do the edge at the same time.
So after you put the first coat on, it will not look so hot and just give it a good thorough sand with 220 grit and that foam block. And then when you put the second and third coats on, you'll see there's bubbles. If you brush it right, then there will be very little bubbles and they will go away. If you made it to the end, you have leveled up. Specialized Finishes thanks you again and please like and subscribe.